What's up, nerds and nerdettes and wee little nerdlings all? It's your buddy, Big Johnny G. The Two Gun Fixer presents Legendary Gaming. <laughs> as crystal clear as the bat signal. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Welcome to Tuesday. Hope your Tuesday's been good so far, and I hope tomorrow's even better for you. You know, we drop a video here at YouTube every every day of the week, and uh, so and it's so funny. I find it so hysterical that we do. <laughs> no, but we do. We drop a new video every day here. So thank you for remembering to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're aware of all our videos. I also want to say thank you to everyone, everyone, everyone that's been going over and saying hi and seeing how we're doing over at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. <laughs> awesome, awesome. And we have the uh, the Two Gun Pixie Zazzle store. Where we sell some of our merch. Crazy nerd-inspired RPG-loving hats and t-shirts and mugs and steins and a whole bunch of other things. And we made another sale. Ah! But you know, even for anyone that hasn't bought anything, really, just thank you. Thank you so much for taking your time to take a look to see what we have. That's great. But anyway, let's let's get, keep going here. We are here for me to talk about a game that I have been enjoying, and I think you might enjoy this also. All right. So this is uh, this is a combination game. I have games by both these companies. This is the only game I have. I think that's by both of them. I think it's the only one. And those two companies. Steve Jackson Games hey. and Cryptozoic Entertainment. And they came together to bring us Batman, the animated series, The Dice Game. <laughs> so, all right, uh, I'll see you down at the table. The animated series, The Dice Game, by Steve Jackson Games and Cryptozoic Entertainment. I really like these fast, quick little dice games that Steve Jackson Games has been putting out. This is little different than their Chupacabra, Survive the Night dice game, or Zombie Dice, which this is kind of based on the mechanics of. Now, after getting a chance to play this game, we just knew we had to get this for ourselves. And we had a lot of fun since we got it. So, I wanted to do a two-gun review. Now, as I've been starting, let's start with the packaging. Because this is a full review, and I want to review every aspect that I can think of to review for this. Now, the artwork is straight and direct from the animated series, and that is awesome. That is fantastic. I love that. The packaging itself... Is great for traveling. It's great for just like they did with Chupacabra dice. It is a handy dandy, great little system to carry it in and gives you something to roll the dice in as well. So I'm very happy with what it came in the box that it's in, the container, the cylinder. It opens up very nice. No problem with that. These rules are standard that we find throughout the Steve Jackson mini dice games. This is not really a lot that you need to know. So it all fits right here and folds up right back inside. I'll be getting to the rules in a moment. Hmm, more stuff. <laughs> yes, there's more stuff. Let's take a look at the components real fast. That's it. Let's take a look here. So this game differs in zombie dice. The because you get to choose which villain you're going to be. This is a villain game. I mean, the Joker, Catwoman, Riddler, and Poison Ivy. And they each have their own little ability. We'll be getting to that when I go over the rules. But the component for these, they're standard, but they're good. Nice quality. By accident, you know, nothing really should happen to these. They can be damaged, but they're good. I'm happy with them. The dice. These are all the dice that you get in the game. These ten dice right here. Broken up into the three different 
color schemes as they show you what the best chances are of you getting one roll or another. Now, I really do like these dice. Their size is great, a perfect size for having it in your hand and rolling. They're engraved, they're painted. Yeah. I love them. They're cool. Very nice, very nice. All right, so that's the components. Now why don't we see how the game runs. The first thing the players in this game are going to do are they are going to choose who they want to be. And the choices come directly from the animated series. I think you'll find them all <laughs> very familiar. So the first one here, the Joker... Now these little icons, once you know their abilities, you understand their icons, and, you, and you're going to know it. So the Joker gets one bonus point for each set of one yellow, one blue, and one gray die in play at the end of his turn. This means that the Joker can score up to two bonus points on a turn, even if he is busted by Batman and does not score any other loot. So in play, that means uh, when you cash out the dice that are in play, that's how you get the bonus points. Even if you get busted. Catwoman. Now, Catwoman scores one additional point for every blue loot she collects. She must complete the heist for this bonus to take effect. So basically, you gotta cash out before you get the three Batman symbols, but we're getting to that. But yeah, if you, uh, you're you gonna get an extra point for a blue loot that you have. For every, you get one additional point for every blue loot that you collect. That's, that's a nice little way to score some points. Poison Ivy. She dodges one blue Batman symbol. If any blue Batman symbols are rolled on her turn, one is taken out of play until the end of her turn. And the Riddler. Riddle me this, Batman. What do my icons mean? <laughs> well, the Riddler rolls four dice instead of three on his first roll each turn. Then he may return any or all of them to the cup. He rolls three dice as usual on later rolls. If he gets four alarms on his first roll, he may re-roll all of them. Ah, that's the riddle. Where am I really? What am I really doing? Now the dice. Let me explain this to you. There are the three different colored dice. And the gray die is the best one for you to roll, in a sense. It's the safest one to be for you to roll, because there is only one bat symbol on it. There are one, two, three loots, and there are two alarms. Now the, the blue die... Well, the blue die has... Two Batman symbols. It has two alarms. And it has two. Ah, there we go. It has two money symbols on it. Now, the yellow or, or gold die only has one loot on it, three bat symbols. And two alarms. Now, on your turn, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that all ten, all ten of the dice are going to be inside the dice cup. You're going to give it a shake like that. And then without looking, without looking, you are going to pull out three dice and give them a roll. <laughs> give them a roll. <laughs> all right, so on this, I got, a, I got really lucky. Uh, in this setup, showing you, because I got three, three gray, and they were all, and they were all loot. Now, let's just say that wasn't the case. <laughs> all right, let's, let's say these were the three dice I pulled out. I rolled. All right, and uh, let's say that was what I got. <laughs> so, what you're gonna do is you're gonna be, you're gonna be pulling the dice off to the side that are your uh, loot, like that. And you're gonna be pulling off to the side the alarms. Now the bat symbol, well, the bat symbol stays to the side, the alarm you're gonna re-roll. 
You have to re-roll the alarms. If you get three Batman symbols, then you have lost your turn and you score no points. See, right now I could, I could have scored out with one point right here instead of filling my hand back up to three, which got me a little bit more money, but as you see, got the bat a little closer to me. So you can choose to keep going as much as you want, and you'll get to keep rolling until you get three bat symbols. Now, in this case, remember, if I had been playing Poison Ivy, then this first blue bat symbol, I'd be able to take out of the game for the rest of her turn, her current turn. But instead, if you decide to stop and say, well, you know what, I, I don't trust the bat, the bat's gonna catch me, I want to escape with my two loot, then you end your turn and you score two points for yourself. Then all the dice are back in the cup and you pass the cup over to the next player. Now, let's say you, you have a ton of loot, maybe a bat symbol or two, but you want to keep going, and you look, you look in the cup, and there's no dice left. Well, what are you going to do? Well, at this point, obviously, you're not going to be able to, to roll anymore. So any alarms that you have will immediately turn to loot. Your heist was a success, and then you're going to score. Your turn is over. There's nothing else to do. So now, when one villain reaches 30 or more loot, that triggers the end game. All the other players after that player will get to finish the round so that every villain gets the same number of turns. Then, the villain with the most loot at the end of that round wins the game. If there's a tie, the leaders, and only the leaders, will play a tiebreaker round. I have long been a fan of zombie dice. And I've always loved comic books. Batman has been one of my top favorite characters for most of my life. Love the animated series. So how could pulling this all together not work? Let me tell you. It does. It works. If you're a fan of Batman, if you're a fan of dice games, <laughs> and if you're looking for another quick little filler game to throw on the shelf so you have, so you have something to play before you play the big board game, before you play... One of the larger Batman board games. Something to get you in the mood, to get you in the mind frame. And I gotta say, Batman, the animated series, the dice game, that fills that mark. I think you will enjoy this. And if, if you're a fan of zombie dice, likewise, I think, I think you'll enjoy what they did with adding in the characters that you get to play. And I, I'm already hoping... That, much like Zombie Dice, they come out with a couple of expansions, maybe some more villains. I don't know, maybe a Robin die to incorporate somehow? Yeah, or Nightwing, or Batgirl, something like that. I want to see that. Get on top of it, Steve Jackson Games. Get on top of that. <laughs> so, this game definitely gets a seal of approval from Two Gun Pixie. And thank you very much, everyone, for joining us here for this Two Gun Review. I'm your buddy, Big Johnny G, for Two Gun Pixie Presents Legendary Gaming. And my friends, I am out of here. <laughs>